Hi, this is How to Play Trouble by Say Now Part 2. In the first part, we did we played the piece. I'll play it for you again quickly. Um... Now we've got to look at the rhythm, which, as I warned you, is complicated. Now, um, I've written a diagram out here with the rhythm. Um, basically, the complication is, if I'm going to play the left hand instead of the right hand on here, because it's a lot easier. Okay, the complication is, is you see the second note, all the rest is easy, but the second note um, goes halfway between beat two and beat three. I'm going to break this down into three beats to show you how this works. Um, you might be able to get this, you might not, but um, a lot of people hopefully will be able to. So it's a bit complicated. Rhythm is always, a, it's like a separate instrument, I think, rhythm. That's why drums is very difficult for a lot of people. The rhythm is, some people can play the music really well, but not the rhythm. I'll show you the rhythm. So we're going to do three beats. We're going to play. We're going to play one, two, three. Is all I'm going to tap out. You can do it with your. We probably better easiest to do it with your foot. Okay. One, two, three. Now this is going to go. We're just going to go uh, the first two notes, and we're going to go one, two, three, and it goes. I'm going to say and in the middle of the two and three because this second note goes in between the two and the three like this. Ready? So it goes one, two, and three, four like that. One, two, and three, four. And I'm saying and right in between the two because it goes two and three. It's right in the middle of two taps, if that makes sense. So we're going to go, I'm just using the E flat middle finger here, left hand for this part. So it's one, two, and three. Do you get that? So we're doing this, we're tapping three times. One, two, three. And this is going to go on the one. And I'm saying an and right in the middle of the two and three to get the second note. So it goes one, two, and three. Do you see? I'll just do the two and three. It goes tap and three see that tap and tap and it's right between the two and the three two and three so all together it goes one you play on the one and it's gonna be right in the middle of the two and three one two and three like that okay then the next note is gonna go on the four so it goes one two and three four one two three and as you can see you've got two three there let me just check that's in yep that's in focus good so you two and three you're gonna play that f on the two and the three. Two, three. So all together this goes one, two, and three, four, one, two, three. See I've got something on the four, and then on the two and the three. The three notes here, just to show you, is gonna be E flat, E flat, F, G, G, my mistake. E flat, E flat, E, F, F. That's these three notes, okay? So it's E flat twice, E, F, F. In fact, it's the bottom note, you can see that. E flat, E flat. E, F, F. I'll do it again nice and slowly. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three, okay? Just, I would just go over and over that. Do it really slow. I'll do it even slower for you. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three. I would go over and over and over. And then just, most people think they have to get it up to speed uh, to make it, if, or they're not learning anything. The trick is don't do it fast, do it slow and do it for five minutes today. Do it again tomorrow for five minutes. Do it again the next day for five minutes and just do it a bit slower each day and you'll get it up to speed. If you try and get it up to speed now, you might find that you mess it up. Once you start messing the rhythm up, you can't really correct it very well after the event. You need to get it right slow and then gradually speed it up. And some people will just get it straight away. Those are very gifted people rhythmically. Um, so. Uh, they're the kinds of person who just, when they learn drums, they just find they can pick it up straight away. Which I've found is about 10% of people. Um, it's quite hard. Anyway, the second line um, is going to be exactly the same. We're just going to go... Just three different notes. So it's one, two, and three. Uh, this is, yeah. Oh, it's these notes, isn't it? Da, da, D flat, C, C, yeah. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three. So it's exactly the same. One, two and three, four, one, two, three, all right? And I'll do that with your both hands now. So it goes one, one, two and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two and three, four, one, two, three, four. I'll do it slower. One, two and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two and three, four, four one, two, three. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. And as you can see, this bit's really easy because it's all on the beat. It goes four, 
whoops. Four, one, two, three. Nice knees. Four, one, two, three. Mm, pretty complicated. I thought I'd do that because some people will manage it. Um, I'm apologise to anyone else who's struggling with that rhythmically. Otherwise, just try and copy how it sounds on the track. Just copy how it sounds when, when I play it at the beginning. Um, I, you probably sound pretty cool anyway, but if you want to get the exact nuance of the rhythm, that's how to do it. Move on to part three now if you'd like to learn the verse. 